Hello and welcome to a close on to one tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make water react to an object. Um, for example, a bowl. So open up Blender and delete your default cube. Uh, go into front view, press in the one key, space add mesh plane, and we want it to be face on to us. So if we hit R, X, and type 90, there we go. Now if we tab into edit mode we'll be making the bowl first, so select one of the vertices and delete it, uh, grab another, and we'll make an outline of a bowl here. So you can use the G key to move them, move the vertexes, and the E key to extrude more vertexes. Uh, we have to make sure our bowl is some thickness to it as well. The water won't correctly react to the bowl. Also, on our last vertex, we need to make sure it's slightly to the left of this bottom one here. Uh, this will be become obvious later. So now if we select this bottom middle vertex and do Shift S, click cursor to selection, um, and hit A twice to select the whole mesh. Now, if we come down here and we're going to spin our bowl by 360 degrees, so put that in the degrees box, and it's going to use 32 steps on the way around. Make sure you are in top view and hit spin. Great, so there is our bowl. Um, it does have a few duplicated vertices, so if we hit A twice and come down here and click rem doubles and it's removed a few okay so now this is why we had to put that vertex slightly to the left uh, because in the middle of our bowl there is now a big hole so if we press A to unselect our mesh and hit B twice and just select that circle make sure you don't select the bottom vertex and put the limit up on rem doubles and hit that one once. Okay, so now we have one vertex in the middle and one at the bottom, so that's perfect. Tab out of edit mode and we can add a subsurf modifier just to make our bowl look a bit smoother. Go to camera view and if we scale our bowl down and position it a bit better for us. Right, so that is our bowl. We can also set it smooth to make it look a bit better. Um, sadly, we have a strange ring there, but if we tab into edit mode, select all, control N, and it will recalculate the normals for us, which will fix that problem. So go into front view and add a mesh cube. We want to probably go into wireframe view, and what we need to do is make our cube big enough so the bowl can fit inside it like that, that should be fine. Now we need to add a mesh cylinder, keep the default values, make it a bit smaller if you like, and we'll grab it and just pop it up there. Take a look from the top to make sure our bowl and cylinder are inside this cube. So that is fine. So that is our scene set up now completely. So now if we go to camera view, and make sure our box is selected. Go to the Objects button, the Physics button, click Fluid, and make that a domain. You can make the resolution of the water higher, but it will take longer to bake. Um, so it's a toss-up between those two, really. Um, now we want to make an inflow of water. So select our cylinder, click Fluid, click Inflow, and we'll just put a bit of gravity on there. Now select our bowl, click fluid, and this will be an obstacle for the water to react to. So we click shell, and that is ready to bake. So if we click our domain, and tap bake, we get our water there if we just wait for it to finish baking. Okay, so now our water is finished baking. We can delete the cylinder that was our water inflow. And there we go, we can hit Alt A and watch our water fall. And we 
can hit Z to, to put it back into a solid view. So now that looks quite blocky water. So we can subsurf it by going into edit mode, add modifier, subsurf. And if we want to set it smooth, that will look a bit better too. So let's go to camera view, animate that. Find a, a good frame we like. So if I stop it now with the spacebar, hit F12. You should get a quick render of what it looks like. So there you go, our water has fallen into our bowl successfully. You may obviously want to texture this. I will be going over how to make a glass texture in um, my next tutorial. So subscribe if you want to come back and watch that one. I hope this has helped with your water reacting to your objects problems. So thanks for watching.